Yo, 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 enough is normal podcast. It's your host, Spittings. Back at you with another episode. Y'all see these faces I got, man. Um, I'm, let's do our shout outs real quick, man. I don't got the GBA on today. I went Nike Tech on them. Tails holla at me, big bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a re up. Um, sponsored by Greenleaf, man. It's the home studio. This is the machine. This is everything you see on this camera, man. And I want to shout out to me, man, because, you know, coming from, you know, where we from, man, it's a small town, man. A lot of people can't move around this nine the way. Only a select few of names can move around this nine the way we need to move around this nine. So, you know, shout out to the, to the wolves before me, too, like, who, who paved the way. And I seen y'all footprints on the way there. But enough about me, man. That being said, man, who I got three steps to my left, man. Yeah. I'm on the ball. You got Kelly Kells in the building. New row, Harley Houses, bro. 80 of side. 80 of side. Ew. My first recollection of 80 of side for me, I'm pretty sure it was around before then, but it was it was my space, like 05, some old shit like that. You was just seeing hella 80 of side. It, 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 it looked like the ocean over there, man, from the pictures I seen. But um, okay, new row. Over here we got this policy. Enough is normal, man. We don't like to start the the the, the story at page 50, man. We like to go to the beginning Absolutely. of the story, man. So you as the author, man, you from New Row. You said Hartley, Hartley Homes? Yeah, we got some new shit called um, Heritage Homes. I don't know what the fuck that shit is. Heritage. I'm from Hartley. Uh, Hartley. Respectfully. Okay. And um, over there in Hartley, man, what, what building you from in Hartley, if I'm not mistaken? It's a couple. How many buildings is over there? Before from, we get... It's five buildings. We got 80, 81, 51, 60, and 70. I grew up in 51. 80 or side raising. Okay. Um, now, what's the difference between, I mean, every hood got different, um, different buildings mean different things. So me personally, I'm not from none of the buildings or the Jets, but I spent most of my time over there. And I know like the 33 homies got they way versus the 90 and, 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 and 100 homies got they thing. It was, it was segregated amongst those buildings. Some buildings was tougher than others. So Break that down, the buildings. What was each building known for in your hood? The building, I ain't from my, the hood was the hood, but um, it was not like 80 or side. It was <laughs> the hood. Yeah. If you know, you know. Facts. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So with that being said, man, um, what was the household looking like growing up in, in, in New Rochelle, Hartley Homes, man? Coming up, my pal, shout out to my pal's magic. My nigga. I had him and my, um, my moms was around and shit coming up. He was in and out of jail though, but he was around. He come on, he back in the crib. Yeah, he around. Mm -hmm. So I was scared as hell of that nigga though. I ain't yeah, coming yeah, up. Yeah, for sure. I was scared of that nigga. My mom's with the linear type. She was born some like you know what I mean. Yeah. So long story short, when around the time I jumped off the porch, like thirteen, late twelve, I had a late birthday. So like late 12, 13, I jumped off the porch. My pops was doing a bit. Mm -hmm. So. Moms wasn't really on that. Now I can running around going crazy, going yeah. crazy. So by the time he came home, I'm heavy on it. Like, heavy how, how old was you when he came home? I was 16. Okay, so you started early, yeah, early, I was early. 16. Yeah. So by the time he came home, he still used to me, you know, you know I, like shit different now. Yeah. Like, he come home, his man's and them is telling him, like, yo, that little nigga out here on it. Like, you feel me? Oh, well, my cat wow. So, Basically, like you feel me. You got any siblings? Yeah, I got two. My sister Jewel, mm -hmm. Diamond, Dominique. Yeah. My sister, my little brother Mel. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Out of all of them, were they all in the household with you, or some of y'all y'all got the same mom? Nah, some, some of us got the same mom, same father. Okay. Not that shit. All right. Well, look, man, coming up out there in New Rochelle, man, what was it like for you in school coming up, man? School wasn't for me. Nah. It's always over. in trouble in school. I got a class that if you know, you know you from New Row. And um, junior high school, Albert Leonard, I knocked the dean out. Damn. It's a classic to this day. <laughs> oh, damn. Put him with dirty left. Yeah, dirty left. Dirty left. <laughs> <Damn. Bah! laughs> uh, school wasn't really for me. Suspension all the time, getting yeah. in trouble. But like I said, my mom's was lenient, so when I'm getting suspended, everybody outside, I'm coming in the crib, mom, everybody outside, like, some of your two hours, two hours turn into four. Yeah. I'm good. So she bringing me to see my pops up north. 
He trying to thug me on the dance floor. I'm knowing he got to stay here. It's not so happening. I get back to the town. <laughs> Everything healthy. I'm good. Back to schedule programming. Back. Now, what I uh, know about New Row from the outside looking in, big sports city, man. A lot of money in New Row. It's a lot of different sides of New Row, but sports is big on sports, man. Was you into sports coming up? Nah, we, I was playing sports, basketball, yeah. football. Yeah. I was actually Ray Rice's first quarterback. Respect for the Ooh. Yeah, let me shake your hand. I was doing my thing, bro. actors. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay, so you got involved with the infamous uh, New Rochelle football program coming up. That's dope. All right, man. Let's 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 take this thing from 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 misdemeanor. Let's 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 raise it up a little notch, man. Hartley, man. A uh, lot of history there. I remember I see pictures of that shit. Like I never physically when it was Hartley. I think we might have just drove by. I don't mm -hmm. even think I've been in that shit when it was Hartley. But I see pictures. This shit looked grimy. It looked dark. I don't even know if there was a daytime over there. I ain't seen no pictures in the daytime over there, really. But like when you Google that shit, man, it just it, it, it looked like terror, man. So you know, talk about some of the things you did growing up in Hartley, man. Hartley was lit. It's like time y'all was on. How y'all was coming in Hartley? We had like, like I said, always scream eighty or something, like, cause that's what that's what raised me basically as far as streets go. Like that shit put me like we was fucking fourteen, fifteen. Moving like the Carter, like we had yeah. that shit really like the Carter, like yeah. They got the shifts going, everybody getting money. We 14, 15, 5,000 in school. <sighs> That's a lot back then. You yeah, feel for me? definitely. What year we talking? Yeah, we going shit like oh one, mm -hmm. oh two, like you yeah, feel yeah, me? early we shit, crazy. Yeah, I ran into some bread. You know, back then I'm going crazy. I'm mean, everybody getting hammers shots and on me. Everybody, I'm going crazy. You yeah, know? that's a fact. We was basically a little bit more advanced yeah. than the rest of the town for all ever. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Talk about that, New New Rochelle. I mean, every city is divided in the sides, but you know, New Road, you got your side. You got shout out to the Hollow, shout out to City Park, shout out to all of them different areas. But what was it about your side that you feel like? made y'all a little bit more advanced? Was it the influences, the people y'all was around, the people who was from there before y'all? Was it certain movies? I don't know, was y'all, did y'all go watch Boys in the Hood when it came out? Like, what was it that advanced y'all? The money go, like, as far as, like, we all start selling, like, work hard, mm -hmm. we young, like, so niggas still trying, niggas might try to get a little half ounce of weed, yeah. we suddenly crack, we get onto the party, niggas is looking at us like, we buying bottles, niggas going crazy. We setting the trends like forever, like yeah. New Year's, every weekend, everything was 80th side. We going to 80, what 80 do, what 80 side do. Mm -hmm. like, we was just more advanced all around the board than anybody else in the town. Shout out to City Park, shout out to the Hollow. Sure, it's love. But if you know, you know, respectfully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, 80th side, man. Talk about 80th side. Is 80th side something that was created is this just a, a Hartley thing that was created errors errors above, or is like 80th side start with your generation? Like my team, my media team, like coming up, we was all close knit even to this day. We go through our little bullshit, but Life. we still on deck. Mm -hmm. Everybody just close knit. We had the building, it was only six floors. We had that shit like the Carter, bro. Yeah, yeah. Niggas, that shit, it was nothing like 80th side. Which, what made 80 if so special out of, out of eight? Why was building 80 to one? It was nothing going on in the hood but 80. It's crazy. Yeah. They, they, yeah. That's just what it was. Like, yeah. Yeah. Even back then, as far as the money tip, only time, even the older niggas tell, only time niggas was getting money when we was, we was bagging up. Yeah. Once we finished bagging <laughs> yeah, up, yeah. The money coming back to yeah. us. You feel yeah. me? Like, With that being said, man, you being so young, I mean, I watch. I watch like The Wire and shit like that, man. And I remember when like a young nigga like Marlo hit the scene, a lot of the older cats, you know, they, they had a problem with that. And he, he had to stand on that in order to move how he moved. So if y'all 14, 15, 16, 17 doing all this, like, you know, how was y'all able to even get away with, you know, making making that much I mean, revenue without it being a problem? I mean, we was with the shit. So right. Like, nigga, you know, we young on some adolescent shit. Plus, mm -hmm. like I said, I was heavy on the gunplay. Right. Niggas was on that, so it was like, we just ain't, you know, young shit, we ain't kids, like, it's whatever, like, whatever right. niggas wanna do, niggas ain't stopping nothing, like, yeah. we was on that. Yeah. 
Wow. Was it a situation where it was all love amongst, like, you know what, they from the hood, we gonna let them do them, or did y'all face resistance and have to, you know, stand on? Nobody stand? really challenged that. Yeah, that's respect. It was just like, you know, yeah. nobody really challenged oh. that. And at the end of the day, you couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you can't challenge that. Yeah. Like I said, if you know, you know. I'm not lying. Yeah. If you know, you know. It was just, we had the wave at the time. Mm -hmm. So now we talk about this early 2000s. My recollection, a new Rochelle, y'all always had parties, man. Infamous. We was, it was right before my era, so I never got a chance. Me and my guys, my, my generation of guys, we never got a chance to experience the Palladium, Club Deep, Club Hollywood. Y'all had a whole yeah, strip of legendary Westchester that events that I, I heard about coming up, you know, majority of my life, man. Talk to us about that era, man. There's a lot of stories, man. That era was crazy. Yeah. Palladium days. Yeah. Sneaking in the back door. Mm -hmm. um, Club Carib, Deep Catering. Yeah. O'Brien's, Deep. Damn. Oh, Lord, that shit was crazy. Like, then he had to leave New Road. Yeah, we had to leave New Road. Any people come from Five Borough, CT, it was just New Road back then. Now, back then, them parties, it was it was real tunnel-like, man. Like, I come from right after that era. So going to a party back then, man, it's, you might not come back the way you left, man. Oh, parties, yeah, it, 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 it was dangerous. And we talking about early 2000s, the, the, you know, the Dipset era. I always say, I recall one time we went to the Palladium. I forgot who was in there. Yeah. We mob and we get to the line. And when we get to the door, security at the door, he like, yo, listen, y'all niggas ain't nice with y'all hands or nice with a razor. Don't even come in here tonight. That's crazy. <laughs> niggas is like, what? That we go back to the store on the corner, niggas is buying shaving razors, breaking them down. Yeah. Mad Jimmy's breaking them down. And we going back in the spot. Like, that shit was. It, it, it yeah, was, it was nasty back then, especially Palladium. Somebody need to make a movie on that shit, man. Cause that, Palladium that, and Deep. Yeah. All them shits was jumping, but Palladium and Deep was like those was it. What days was they? Was was it Friday night? What, what was the Palladium? Like Wednesday and, on. I, damn. If I'm not mistaken. Oh. Wednesday had it might have been the career night if I'm not mistaken. Either Wednesday or Thursday, and then like Friday and Saturday you had Hollywood Deep, Palladium, and all that going on. Damn. Oh, so it was like. You might can slide through here, then two hours ahead, and yo, we gonna slide over here. It was that lit? Yeah, that shit was active. I'm mad I missed that era, that man. I used active. to watch all the older niggas and some of the women in, in the area leave to go out there, and I'd be like, damn, like we still going to Slater Center, <laughs> skating, and don't get it fucked up. It, it was it was busting for us, but like. You hear about, I'm hearing about, you know, niggas getting smacked with hammers in, yeah. in Palladium, niggas getting backed out on. There's all kind of activity yeah. going on. You know, the, 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 the gang shit was at an old time high back then, so it was like, yeah. It was active. Yeah. If you made it out all of that, that coming two, two, three deep, that's not enough. Yeah. Like 10 or better, yeah. you might can make it back to the town. <laughs> <laughs> 10 or better, that's yeah, a lot. Yeah, at least that's 10 deep. Or better. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then for us, I ain't even gonna say for us, like for I'ma say for the town, like for y'all generation, man, New Rochelle was was murky waters. Was was it was real murky waters back in them days. Before we get into that, man, you know, New Rochelle, y'all got a lot of uh 914 names in, in all generations. So who some people you ran with, you know, back in your day coming up out there in New Row? Free get money. Free get money. Free get money. Free get money. Free bang and squeak. Free squeak. My brother A Boogie K Dot. Mm-hmm. Welcome home. Fresh. Juice. The team, like, you feel me? Yeah. Rest in peace to my motherfucking brother. C2, C2. yeah, for sure. Love you, nigga. Rest in peace. I mean, yeah. Like, we had the crew, like, you feel me? Yeah. Facts. That's all, that's the 80 crew? Yeah, it's a few more. Charter, charter to the Patron, finally shot y'all. You know the vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, did you have, was it always segregated like that? Did you have friends from them other areas in, in New Rochelle before, you know, the obvious? We gonna get into as far as the geographics and what, you know, the years, you know, New Road divided, but was it a time where, you know, everything I was, was everything? I was fucking with niggas like the New Road, City Park, the Hollow. Mm -hmm. um, there's another hill like Davenport, but I know a few niggas down that way, but. I started going to like group homes and DFYs early in the game. So okay, yeah. It was like, yeah. You, know what I mean? you got a chance to know some yeah. niggas. You got to be in the hood for yeah, me to fact. Yeah. 
Um, is it one? How many schools y'all got in New Row? Like, cause like I said, Greenberg is one elementary, one elementary, no, one. We got a couple. Okay, so couple you liable to be couple yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple. yeah. Man, I got the high. Facts. I um rest in peace, um my nigga Face from New Row. Facts, you you got any history with Face? Brother. Yeah, like when the gang shit first hit, as far as the red and blue, mm-hmm. he was the forefront, like. Even yeah. to this day, like none is bigger than him. Yeah. As far as like you feel me, like anything that came after him respectfully, if you know, you know that's face. Like for sure. On the blue side is me. Rest in peace, C two. Rest in peace, my nigga Silv. Mm-hmm. Face D. Chip. Yeah. With a few niggas around, you feel me? Yeah. But on that, on the red side was definitely like it was Face River. Shout out to Nork. Um, G Banger. Mm-hmm. Few niggas around the gang shit that yeah. was on both sides, like you feel me? Yeah. I was putting on. Yeah. What around what time would you say you notice the 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 change? Like as far as okay, we rocking now, we ain't cool no more. It, it, is that would you say that the the demographic of the of the gang politics divided the city? Yeah. Well, like out of nowhere, it was just like. <laughs> Fuck that, man. The niggas ain't. <laughs> <laughs> it's up, it's up with the niggas fucking like. Was it something that happened? Like what? Like, what? Cause it's it's weird. I mean, listen. Every 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 community go through it. I watched it happen in the burg too. Like, like me, yeah. Me and C two. Like I said, shout out to everybody that was for the blue that was putting on back there. But like me and C two was the forefront for the blue. Like yeah. so it was like for the cowboys. And um, I should I say like. Ain't even nothing happened. We was just putting on. Oh, fuck it. We was putting on crazy. Like it was to the point where we couldn't even, especially me. Like I couldn't go to certain. Yeah. Like like I say right now <laughs> up here, I would have thought a nigga was lying to me coming up. <laughs> it's so crazy. With, shout out to Woody. <laughs> shout, shout out to Woody. My nigga Woody. <laughs> you know it's so that's crazy. My son, yeah. That's my son. Like that was my son before. Mm-hmm. Before. Yeah. Like like I said. He was with a red tip, I was with a blue tip, we were still locked in. What y'all call him in New World, though? Y'all don't call him Woody, man. Y'all got a, y'all got a new Rochelle name for the, for the nigga, man. He was Mo. I was calling yeah, him yeah, Mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to hear you yeah, say it, Mo. man. Shout out to Mo. Mo, what up, man? <laughs> my nigga, Mo Measy. That's my, that's my first big fool, like big bro. That's that's big bro. And yeah, my side yeah. fell out for a minute. Yeah, I remember. And it makes us falling down. I think we, we pushing it. You know how yeah. you know, we I seen it firsthand. Like, <laughs> they like, yeah, that nigga get cows get caught in Greenberg. He's out of here. <laughs> hey, yo, that shit. Exactly. That was a, such a crazy time. Like, you really had to be around. Them days, like, I would. These youngest now, as crazy as it is, they don't, it ain't it ain't never nah, be like that again. The Playland Fourth of July vibes, they 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 had never had that. Like Fourth of July, these niggas they ain't even got nothing to do. But that was that was that was a rough time. Yeah, there was a time definitely your face was on posters. Like you see this man. Nah, yeah, it's up, <laughs> if you don't know what to do, get low <laughs> or call one of us. Cause we was young, we was babies, yeah, we fat. was baby. We wasn't even stepping in that kind of water. Uh, at that time, but um, okay. I heard you say something about you know DFY before we finish with uh, New Rochelle and yeah, you know your bit. criminal career, man. Uh, how old was you when you first started playing around in the system? Group oh homes, God. DFY. You didn't you didn't went on a uh, Woodfield <laughs> and a little my tour. First spot ever with the Woodfield. Mm-hmm. I think it was nine eight. Called Assault. Yeah, Assault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumb shit popping on the Mexican after school, so they don't got the boy yeah, hit him with us. Damn, man. All that shit. <sighs> and then that shit from there just went. Yeah. yeah. That shit just went left. Like, mm-hmm. like, I ain't never been home. I've been home going on four, what, five years now? That's the longest I've ever been home in my life, right here, right now, ever. God damn, your last five? Every year since 1998. I was locked up every year, whether it was three months, six months, the whole year. I sat down. Yeah. This is the longest I ever been home right here. Uh, jail, sometimes it depends how you look at it. Like, how do you look at, you know, your jail career? Do you look at it like you was preserving yourself? You had so much shit going on. If you was out here, you might have been one of the ones took off the map. 
or do you just look at it as you know? I was going to your win, path. so yeah. I mean, who knows how that shit would have went, but yeah. I'm glad to say I'm still here. But yeah, the system that shit. I hear a lot of niggas be saying like, yo, that nigga, that nigga always in jail. That nigga, like niggas don't be planning to go to jail. Let's get that. Right. Nobody plans to go to jail. Right. Niggas ain't telling niggas do the time. Niggas come home, but that shit just, that shit, that shit playing with your mental so crazy. Like, especially like I said with the gang tip, mm -hmm. I'm doing multiple, like that shit is just, for the, especially for the Crips, I'm yeah. Crips, so it was like, that shit way different for us in the penal system. Like, it's not like we on the turf in Cali, that shit is different, like we the minority, mm -hmm. everybody's against us. Different, your bid is different. You can have a comfortable bid, like, right? So, yeah. Um, Did you reach those politics in Woodfield or Valhalla, or that was something that you you ran into when you got to the state? As far as it getting rough, nah, straight from the DFY, the and all that. Cause you know we young back there, so that shit is hitting. That's the wave of New York at the time. So yeah. everything's blunt and crip. You're going to great thing. Mm -hmm. That's all that's going on at the time. So yeah, you had to just everything, just yeah. When you first went up north, how old was you when you first went up north? I was 18. 18. Talk about that bus ride, man. I like to ask, you know, a lot of the guys, like, you know, how did you I'm prepare not a for that? The front, like, yeah. like, that shit wasn't about nothing. That shit was rough, homie. That shit was like, yeah. That was probably the worst shit I ever been through in my life, gangster. Like, yeah. I stood tall, though. I claimed mm -hmm. a lot of box time. Mm -hmm. Came home, low two scratches, something like, but that shit is different, my nigga. Like, growing up, you know, I'm hearing the story, you know, right. I ain't yeah, never yeah. been up south, so I'm going off with my pops, niggas in the hood that been up there, like, yo, tell them, tell you shit. <laughs> that shit gonna be rough, my nigga. So when yeah. I finally get there, I'm like, damn, I get to Dale State and all that. Everybody blog. Everybody blog. So it was like, who this light skinned nigga? I'm like, damn, so yeah. this little chubby nigga. Yeah. Fuck is this nigga like? He's out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Pack him up. But damn. Nah, once I really got the know how, like I said, I was, I'm saying grooming myself, but I was doing little DFYs and group homes. So I knew how to, like, still the system. Well, I should have still the system. Yeah, so yeah. I had a little head start, like, nah, I ain't, mm -hmm. we ain't gonna do this so for the next, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I had a little structure to where I'm just playing the box. Like, fuck it. Right. It is what it is. Was there ever a time when you was up there when you just was like, you know what, fuck it. I want to be free. I'm going to just be Mike Kell, man. I'm going to just go through the rest of my business. Nah. Uh, nah. Nah. Yeah. Because okay. I like, my name is everything. Like, mm. like, my name, like, I stand on, like, my shit is strong. My shit is heavy in the streets. Not just my town. Yeah. I'm good. A lot yeah. of hoods. Mm -hmm. As you know, you know, shout out to my niggas I fuck with all yeah. over, you know, the yeah, yeah. So it was like, I'm on some shit like, nah, as long as a nigga don't kill, I'm coming home. Like. Yeah. I'ma just keep putting on. Yeah. I'm coming home, like. Came home. I'm good. The lover's still there. Yeah. I ain't turned another hood or yeah. went to the other side. None of that. Like, yo, went through the struggle, came home ten toes. Yeah. Let me shake your hand, brother. Man. Wow. Uh, 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 um, you got any kids? Yeah, I got five kids. Five kids, damn. The oldest is in college. Ooh, we wow. damn. Okay. Um, talk about that. You know, bidding. Uh, I did a little hundred twenty days in the Hallers and all that. That shit fucked me right over. A little minor block time, but. You know, I was that locked up with hurts. a lot of lifers, yeah, man. That a lot shit, of niggas. My daughter, like all my kids wanted back then when I, when I first started my daughter, she coming, you know, she coming to the floor. I left when she was one. Yeah. So when she coming up, you know, she coming, I'm watching her grow yeah. through the visit. She got the pamper on this visit. A couple visits go by. She like, Dad, I gotta use the bathroom. I'm thinking like, oh no, I grab a little bunch of me. She got panties on. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh damn. Man. Yeah. Like she growing up. Yeah. And even I caught a few out she was older. It's like when the when, when that visit be over, my nigga, and they get to crying mm -hmm. and all that, that shit like mm -hmm. that shit hurt, my nigga. Yeah. That shit hurt. Yeah. You 
know your shorty looking like, well, you can't keep going through this. You feel me? Like, so it's mm-hmm. like. Yeah. Um, when you came home, man. Before we even get to you coming home, man, I remember MySpace, we got to talk about it, the infamous DVD, man. Um, <laughs> that DVD changed, like, me and Ice was the niggas, like, we'd get out of school, we'd go to the computer room, we was heavy MySpace niggas, so that's how we got in tune with a lot of people outside our area, meaning the Greenberg, White Plains, Elmsford, like, that was our radius, yeah. like, we knew everybody in them areas. When you start getting the Yonkers, Mount Vernon, New Row, Either somebody got family over there, Valhalla, or through the through the media at the time, which was MySpace, man. I saw the DVD, man, Hartley, bunch of little young niggas outside. Niggas is got yeah. a lot of guitar bands on them, man. Yeah. Let's talk about it, man. What was that day like, man, in y'all hood, man? It's crazy because the day that DVD came out, I'm thinking it was like some little underground, some shit. Shit ain't gonna never come out. I mean, so we there, we battling. We bang the street. We all battling. I'm not battling. They battle or whatever. I'm not. I, I had to take off the shoestring. That's what that was. <laughs> niggas always remember. I don't been up no. Yeah. Niggas like yo, you was something with the. Oh, you so went crazy viral. They. Bat- I'm thinking the shit not go come out. So long story short, I'm in the hood. Call some kind of school, whatever. So niggas come home from school like yo. That check was fire, my nigga. When you get that, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, they like, nah, niggas had the DVD in the calf. That shit, listen, I'm like, look, be on Fordham. I'm walking on Fordham, you know, they got the little concession stands. Shit was called Battles for the Bottles and the Bubbles. Mm. My man Live, shout out to Live. He a VA at the time, calls me. Yo, yeah, we watching that shit right now. So that shit just went viral everywhere. I'm not thinking yeah. that shit came out like that, but that shit definitely. Boosted a nigga. Yeah. A little nigga situation. That's a fact. The nigga, who's the nigga with the shoe string? And then you got people who know you. It's like, well, that's, that's such and such. So we we kids. We 15, maybe younger than that. Looking like, what the, who the fuck is these yeah, crazy ass shit, niggas? Don't go there. Shout out to yeah. Tails, man. He played ball. Shout and out it, to my nigga Tails. It, it was awesome shit. Like, when he had to play in Lincoln Park, because he was basketball star coming up. It was like, when it's time to go hit that park, it's like, ah. And that DVD was one of the reasons. Yeah. It was like, stay away from, it was like um, Lion King, the, 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 you had Pride Rock, you had the yeah. dark side, it's like, go never to, go like, there. That go back to, pick it back over earlier, like, we, like I said, we was more advanced on the street shit, when niggas was pulling up still on some, yo, let's get it, and like, <laughs> niggas is coming through getting raw, niggas is shooting yeah. niggas, and, we not going, but it was getting crazy. We yeah. ain't got time to be yeah. just up. Like, if you ain't coming like this, that's crazy. Stay over there. Yeah. <laughs> like, Young. Yeah, like. Cause we ain't start, like I said, doing that, but we ain't never did nothing. But, you know, that was down the line. Yeah. Um, there's no way, though, y'all got like that with no influences, man. Who was some of the niggas you looked up to coming up? Over there in your area, man. Well, y'all niggas was just independent, renegade, little young niggas. Just. Popped up out of nowhere. Listen, this is what we doing. Like, I ain't had nobody to. I ain't go for nah. Me, just speak me personally. <laughs> Shout my nigga um, Live. Mm-hmm. My nigga Choo Choo. Yeah, I hear about him a lot. Shout out to my nigga Buck. Yeah. Um, I wasn't really like. <laughs> he wasn't pressed? Because there be a lot of saying, even to this day in the road, like, yo, niggas be letting niggas come out here and mm-hmm. do whatever. I don't pay that shit no mind because I know what we, the 80th side wasn't with that. Y'all know what else y'all speaking for, but <laughs> we wasn't with that. We yeah. running down. Yeah. Like it was just, it was nothing going on. If you wasn't 80th side jacking us, we on your ass. That's yeah. just what it was. Like, right. But I ain't really have no. Nah. Especially, I'm speaking for me. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. I was bidding this shit early, so it was like, yeah. like, like I'm putting on, like, like shout out to my pops, Magic. They don't call me. Little magic in the hub. My name Kells. Like, yeah, I'm not, got, yeah, okay. I ain't get my shit off my pops. Mm-hmm. None of that. And like, yeah. niggas fuck with me. I'm the same nigga everywhere I go. Like, I'm mm-hmm. good, not just in my town. Like, like they say, like the streets give you your hand through the streets, mm-hmm. put you where you at as far as, you yeah. know what I mean? You dictating your own pace. Yeah, like, niggas fuck with me. Like, yeah. Um, I remember coming up, I was 16 years old. Uh, rest in peace, two five man. Um, I got a lot of good friends of mine from Mount Vernon. That's I, right. Rest in peace, five. Rest in peace, five. Um, you know, coming up where we at, 
you know, the, the general consensus was, you know, my Vernon used to kind of bully y'all a little bit. We not here to, you know, uh, spark nothing. We just going through the history. Um, until we get to like your era, I start hearing about, you know, um, each hood go through that. Cause I mean, mm -hmm. we had Greenberg, White Plains, the generation above us, I felt like it was going more back and forth versus, you know, our generation, it was back and forth, but we, we really, we, we, I, we put our flag, our flag pole in the ground seriously. So I, I could say the same, you know, for y'all, but talk about that for a minute. Um, you know, that whole situation, you know, between cities, man. Duro and Neville always been that, as far as I know, from generations, 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 like. Right. Um, we let up, well, it didn't even lead up, like, you know, regular shit we still, but five of them was older than us, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I said, we was advanced, so we in the parties, we popping bottles, we sent trends, niggas was fucking with us. Like, oh, so you been around five yeah, before, like, personally? Definitely. Yeah, he okay. been to the hood. Yeah. That's why, like, when a lot of niggas be speaking on that situation, niggas wasn't outside, respectfully. Mm hmm you Wasn't outside, you wasn't outside. Right. You feel me? Yeah. I get it if you're from the Ville, you rep in the Ville, if I was from the Ville, but as far as, like, a lot of y'all niggas couldn't come outside, wasn't old enough, <laughs> wasn't in the streets, <laughs> <laughs> wasn't the Rams, bro. It was yeah, like, sit down. The situation was just a fucked up situation all around the board. For sure. Like I said, it wasn't no shit that just niggas was beefing. Like, if I was fucking with niggas, it was just a fucked up night. You yeah, know? yeah, niggas yeah. Was when this shit right here, yeah, yeah. this shit be changing the game up. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whether it's Don, Julio, Patron, whatever the case may be, they can change the game up when you up and about. So you got to be mindful of that. Like, shit just went left. You see what I'm saying? So you was you was fun, you was you was um rotating with with Mount Vernon at, yeah, in like, your time. You was, yeah. I know, like I said, I'm not to tell my own like I'm yeah, talk, good talk, out here. Talk about it, I'm nigga. Good at these Fuck streets, you talking yeah. about, nigga. I'm good talk at these streets. It. Like I can go, not saying shit won't go, but I can patch in with the gangsters. Like you feel mm -hmm. me? So like I be fucking with niggas in the Ville when the black them niggas like yo, you going to the Ville? You bugging? Nah, I'm not bugging. I'm good. These yeah. my sons. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, and I, like I said, I be bending early, so yeah, yeah, I got jail relationships with niggas. Like now, nah, son, the same nigga from jail to the streets. Like, yeah, <laughs> so it's like when niggas be speaking on shit, mm -hmm. I don't really like because I know you wasn't there. Yeah. I know you wasn't relevant. Yeah, you wasn't like you know <laughs> <laughs> it's oh five. We sixteen. Yeah, like you wasn't I remember that shit like it was time. yesterday. Like, yeah, like. Boy was fucking with us, rest in peace. It wasn't like a situation. He dicing with us. He pulling up. Mm -hmm. It was good. Like I said, this shit right here, this liquor. Yeah. This shit just, I mean. Yeah. It'll fuck us up, man. Rest in peace, 2-5. Yeah, free bang with squeak. Free bang Rest in peace, 5. My yeah. son going strong. Yeah. Like, I mean. Talk about the, was you home during this time or was you, or you was absent? You was on vacation? When that shit actually happened, I was locked up. I caught a gun charge. I was locked up. Mm-hmm. I was gonna ask you, like, what, what was it? What? Cause we heard stories, like, you know, after, you know, my new share was, you could hear fucking nah, a fucking yeah, rat yeah. piss on I cotton, ended, man. It I was, ended up you know, the out. movies, they'd be like, when the leaf, <laughs> the little leaf <laughs> hit the nah, ground, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, the gust nah, of wind yeah, yeah. go. Nah, <laughs> I ended up you know bailing what I'm out. Smart. When I bailed out, like I said, I'm one of the niggas police is checking for, like, like yeah, he's gonna be, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, for sure. Show it was show. just like, you know, it was yeah. tension. It was lit. It wasn't yeah. no both it's, sides, though. They yeah. be saying New Road, the Veil, too. It was yeah. like, it was ghost town. Okay. You know, yeah. it, was, it was shit going on. It was ghost town. But nothing but niggas that's going to boom shit outside, like, mm -hmm. on both sides. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was like I said, unfortunate. We, I was a kid. I was 16 years old. It's crazy. At rest this in movie, peace, Ray Ray. Yeah, rest in peace, Ray Ray, um, man. He caught a bad one for some dumb shit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that was unfortunate. The whole situation was crazy. Man. Yeah, I yeah. just don't. I don't like. I don't like the niggas that be speaking on shit that wasn't around, or mm -hmm. wasn't outside. Mm -hmm. You don't know what the fuck going on. Man. Yeah, you know what I mean, you was in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I feel you on that, cause like you said, you know, for it's a difference between being in the bleachers and then being on the field, yeah, you know absolutely. what I'm saying? So a lot of times, it's fucked up, like with the social media shit, man. It's fucked up, man. Like you have retirees, guys whose jerseys should be hung up, and then you have niggas who wasn't even in the game yeah. 
trying to pull your social, jersey down. You know, it's just a no fuck. fact social media fucked the game up. Oh my God. Like, when I was coming up, like, you couldn't, it wasn't no social media, so mm -hmm. you had to have a name for putting on, doing something. Like, you girls, money, whatever you, know you mean, known for, nowadays, you had to, yeah. You could type some, send the Chris, smoke a blunt. Think of some tough shit, some nigga like, think of some <laughs> tough shit to say. Yeah. And then you type it. Yeah. Nigga's like, oh, he. He that. Oh, that nigga's that. Yeah. And it's yeah. fucked up. It's but is this the way he did it? Man? Like, like <sighs> now, nowadays, you can put on Farragamo belt, go to the club, you pop two bottles, you got 2500 in your pocket. You him. Got the whip. You know, for fucking a few bad bitches. Shout out to him. Yeah, shout out whatever you choose. To, but the streets are, oh, that nigga's official. Yeah. I mean, yeah. son of straight bozo, <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Bozillion in the name of my nigga Stick, but man, free Stick. They not, they not willing to look past the material shit, like, you mm -hmm. feel me? Yeah. I don't knock a nigga getting money, get to it. That's the motive, you feel me? But yeah. What is the difference between success and character? Yeah, so absolutely. we we often we judge a person's character by how successful they are when it's like you got rich pieces of shit, just like you got broke pieces of shit. Character is character. You can't measure, you know, a person's character by just, you know, how successful what we deem is successful, like that's whack. Um, cause like you said, it wasn't no social media. So before I heard of this gentleman right here, it wasn't no social media. I just heard his name yeah, the from one of the, the big bros name, that raised me. me? Yeah, streets, that's a fact. You can put your, your name this, but the streets is go put your shit where it need to be. Like, you feel me? That's like you get into a situation, yo, you know the car uh, Spinks, ah, uh, ah, uh, yo, you know for knocking niggas out. Now, I never yeah. seen you, never had an altercation with you. Yeah. Now, we have altercation. I gotta be mindful of what I've been hearing over the years, yo son. Yeah. He's gonna put you. Like, you feel me? You gotta. So when niggas be playing, my nigga, mm -hmm. and niggas don't be willing to go to that extent, leave me alone, man. Because you got niggas, niggas that's niggas gonna do the consequences. Like, I'm with yeah. niggas, certain niggas is willing to yeah. go there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, win, lose, or draw. I'm not a nigga that you could punch in the face, I'm gonna take it on the hop. I'm not one of those. Yeah. You got to beat me up, I'm gonna beat you up. Mm -hmm. If I beat you up, I'm still gonna come, still coming on that. That's just me, you see what I'm saying? That's a fact. So you're not And you gonna go to, to jail that. and stand on yeah, that. And if, I'm stand if that's on that. where you ain't wishing, you gonna stand. Yeah, I'm gonna stand on you got that. Some I'm niggas still that... my packages. Yeah. I got a support team, I don't burn bridges. Mm -hmm. Like I said, if I, if I win, I'm still coming on that. That's just me, you yeah. see what I'm saying? So, it don't stop just the street, so you don't dictate how a nigga coming or how a nigga, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. if Spinks mad, I can't tell you, yo, don't be that bad to where you want to do this. Nah, hell no. Be that. ready to I stand on your actions, though. Your action. Whatever you do, just be able to stand what come <laughs> with it. it. That'd be my thing, but see, this was so fucked up about the streets and why, like, we read and why, like, the streets, we, it's to the point now where, Nowadays, we sanctioning, not we, the streets is sanctioning shit without even knowing what it's made of. So we just meet a motherfucker, don't know what he about, if he's tested, because a lot of niggas is not rat tested. Huh? So these niggas be thinking they ready to sign shit, they signing contracts, they ready to do the X, Y, and Z, and then when it's time to go through that, they realize, oh, nah, I don't got that in me. And that's fucked up for real authentic players. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're not an off brand, you're gonna really play thinking yeah. you got a, 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 a participant just to find out that uh, he, he, he changed his mind. Yourself. Yeah, he changed his mind, yes. Be yourself. Right, right, that's, that's important. That's not true, that's not true. I'm gonna respect you more right. when you're yourself. Yeah. You from the hood, you don't boom shit, you don't sell drugs, you from the hood. Yeah. I'm not gonna let nothing happen to you on my watch, you from the hood. Mm -hmm. But don't portray something that you're not. That'd, yeah. that'd be my only issue with niggas. Those be the niggas we gotta protect. The niggas who are comfortable being themselves. The nigga who yeah, wanna be an IBM fact, yeah. tech or a nigga who wanna yeah. play sports. You wanna make sure that when he walking down the block to go to the, to the center to work on his jump shot or to work on right. his left hand, we gotta make sure we pause everything. The dice game, the hustling. Nah, don't ask hey. me for nothing. We gotta make sure he get from here to there because he gonna make, you know what I'm saying? Tell my son. Yeah, shout out to the little Shout out to the little yeah. Tell him all the time. Your pops is official, nigga. Like, mm -hmm. you ain't gotta. You know, he at the age where he in the yeah. street, he want to be out, the, he's nice in football. I've like, been seeing him. He's it. I'm telling him, like, you don't have to mm -hmm. be good. 
your pops did all that. You don't have to do that. You just solidify, nigga. Just be Kels, be you, nigga. Be like, you, but he got like, your name, so yeah. he, I that's see tough. What, you know what? It, it's hard raising you. Yeah. Anybody that got kids, it's hard raising yourself. You see your kid doing something, but it's your daughter's your son. Like, damn, I used to do that. Like, you discipline them, but it's like, damn, I used to do it. So Hello. Like, you he wasn't me? listening. <laughs> like, yeah. That shit, yeah. oh, so we be doing shit. I'm like, damn, but I try to tell him all the time, like, nigga, I love you, nigga. You don't have to do that shit. Mm -hmm. Your pops not a bo bozo out here. Mm -hmm. Good, nigga. Yeah. You feel me? And he might be trying <laughs> to live up to that. Because you, you got to think Jordan, if he got a son, that nigga probably, yeah. you see Lil Bronny, what they want to do. They, they, Our kids, especially our mm -hmm. sons, they see us and it's like, nigga, that's me. And then you got a name. So everywhere this little nigga, this little nigga, I that's seen him on fact. Ferris. <laughs> niggas treat him, niggas rolling out the, the you know, yeah. the blue carpet for him. Like, that's a little cat. We're going to make sure he's straight. So he looking at it like, oh, damn. Like, he going to tan in, the, in some of that lime. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, it be like that, man. Uh, When you did um, come home, we jumping around. This, this, this is authentic, man. I got, I got the cuz with me. It's a lot to talk about. I've I known this brother a long time. And before that, I was outside. So I know, you know, what the fuck was going on. But um, talk about now uh, how, you know, growing up in the street, some of my old ops and some of my best friends, and I ain't going to say best friends, but niggas who, you know, it's a different rapport you build with a nigga when y'all really been through that, and then y'all can get older, ain't nobody died now, everybody back cool, because now if you look at the, the pictures of the clubs, I see niggas from all sides of New Row hanging yeah. and hanging and chilling and having a good time where it wasn't always like that, man. So, you know, talk about that, you know, the unity. Uh, uh, you know, even in Mount Vernon, like me and you didn't been in every spot in Mount I Vernon. Say, yeah. Like on that as far as like I'm a big part of that. For sure. So I mean it when I speak from that meaning, like I've been around, I was putting on so not to say like I'm valid in the hood. So it's like if Yo, son, that shit's slow, like, you feel me? Like, we ain't on that. Niggas trying to get money, like, we made ain't nobody. We yeah. good, like, like I said, go back to what I just said, like, shout out to Woody. Mm -hmm. That was my son before, and then we fell off. Mm -hmm. And it was all the way lit. Yeah. For a minute, a couple years, it was, yeah. like, lit. It was that. And then I remember, if, if you remember this, you're going to be laughing when you hear it, nigga, like, I'm out here, I'm on Ferris. Yeah. You know, I'm on the Avenue. 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 Y'all saw each other pick and roll. I can't see that girl. You know, <laughs> so nigga, if you know, you know. I'm thinking he my other son. Yes. So I'm like, yo, I'm calling the nigga. He like, yo. <laughs> walking across the street. That. When we walking towards each, mind you, it's lit with me and this nigga. You know? yeah, yeah. So when we walking across the street, when we realize like who it is, he's looking at me. I'm looking at him like, oh. It was like. I was extending my hand like, what up, my nigga? Yeah. And ever since then, it was like it rekindled. Like, come on, my nigga, my son, nigga, we put on, nigga, like, we ain't on that. You feel me? It's a different when you <laughs> respect, because people. I respect gangsters. Yeah. Let's get yeah. that out See of what the I'm way. saying? I so respect gangsters. That's what I, the point that I'm trying to get I'll at. I never go, if my, like, if nigga, my ops to tell you that nigga go go. Yeah. Come correct, because he go go. Yeah. Like, I respect gangsters. Nigga, put it in, I'm going to tell you, like, mm -hmm. The problem be a lot of times too, I done seen it in my hood to where like, like I said, I fuck with niggas in different towns, the boroughs and all that. So I done seen situations where a nigga, a nigga flex on a nigga that's not from the town. Mind you, I done been up north, but I done seen this nigga boom everything. I know what he get into. Yeah. But a nigga feel come be from New Rome, I'm supposed to, I don't do that. That's, that's not why. My style. So yeah. Now, they're getting to it, son of spin off, because he don't feel comfortable. You know, he's from the, he not a from out here. But I know he's coming back to get crazy. And you need I it. tell son, like, yo, bro, if you ain't on that, pass that up. Pass, get out of here or do something, because son coming back to put on. Like, yeah. Like, that'd be a lot of niggas' situations too. Like, niggas don't be knowing who, so you gotta know your city, you gotta know your town, you gotta know the nine. Like, you feel me? I just had this conversation with, with, with somebody who I told him, like, you got to be aware. All of that, no, uh, just people be be big on this, oh, I just mind my business, I just do that. No. That's not safe. 
So I'm not out here chasing it, but I need to. I like to know what's going on because mm. in the process of somebody just running their mouth in frivolous conversation, I might find out about an area I don't got no business going to at that time. Like, oh, such and such was just finished talking about this went on over there. I'm not even going to go that way. I'm not going to that store. I'm going to go to that store. So that's how you stay alert. That's one. Secondly, is a big difference between being selective and having respect. As men, gangsters, we could speak. It's, it's, it's gangster to be able to talk something mm -hmm. out with another person that got some sense. Bitch ass niggas don't get that respect. Bitch ass niggas get yeah, treated get like that. straight yeah, bitch yeah. ass niggas. Whereas though a gangster, so I might see a gangster and we might have just had words, but it's like we both know where this could go yeah. and we both got shit to lose. So we might be able to, I mean, talk that out for the for the for both our yeah, future both our versus future. a bitch ass yeah. nigga like you just getting treated off the rip. Yeah, you don't get that you, you up, don't bro. get that yeah, respect. You don't get that but people be like, oh, that's selective. You you did this with this one. Um, amongst men is respect. Amongst suckers, is, they don't they don't even they don't even stand for nothing. So it ain't nothing for us to talk about. So it sounds like you know, and then me being one of them one of them faces as far as for my area and somebody who could go all over this nine like ten plus 15, 20 yeah. years all over this nine, you know, having my way. You know, it'd be like that. You'll have a bozillion from the area playing with, you know, one of the one of the one of the yeah, ones. We'll like, come on, cause I ain't no just cause you from from we went to school together, like nah, stay yeah, in your lane, nigga. Your so that shit, that shit be whack, man. Um, what's your opinion on the current state of the streets, man? Somebody who been out here. And not that you currently active in the streets, but you know, we still see what we see. We not blind, we can still see it, we still hear it. But uh, what's the difference between now versus, you know, the every that raised you? You got a lot of niggas now that they never put on back then, never had a handle, never had a name. Late bloomers. Yeah, late bloomers, and they trying to <sighs> do that now. And I'm gonna say this. My damn. This is a fact. Niggas get a lot of clout for beefing with a nigga like me or acting like you beefing with a nigga like me. Like, Kurt, you know, we just had this conversation. Kurt. Certain niggas, like, not even just me, certain <laughs> niggas that get into that and put on, like, you getting pussy. You getting, you know, you got really like, oh, you beefing with Kelly Cow? You, like, yeah, you, ah. That's how like, goofy you this get, shit is. Like, you a goofy, like, like, yeah. A lot of niggas do that shit, not just with me, like, niggas be really, like, acting like it's beef or, and it don't be that, like, <sighs> feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that wasn't going on in your era? That type of shit? Nah. Because <laughs> yeah. it wasn't no social media, so yeah. niggas was moving around, niggas outside, yeah. niggas is... You go see that nigga. There's like, no cameras our yeah, era. We coming from of, no yeah, cameras, there was a lot of no, no cameras, none of that. And it was... I'm gonna see you. <laughs> like it ain't like me living. I'm gonna see you. We moving around. I'm gonna see you, and then we gonna do that. Yeah. The tight. I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. It'll drive a nigga crazy. Nigga, da, 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 da. Hundred million people seeing it. You feel me? Loving it. Liking it. People, laughing at not it. Not even really, cause you might got three, four niggas that like it. Niggas that done violated already that like it. Niggas click up. Niggas is looking for a response. I don't come from that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It so, drive you crazy, guys? Yeah. That should drive me crazy. I don't come from that. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> you doing all this shit, bro. That shit don't. Yeah. Now, when something happens, everybody's a motive. In the court of law, that's a motive. Yeah. Well, I see you going back and forth with so and so. Two weeks later, he got his head blown off. Yeah. I know you, you had to do it. Social media made telling easy. Yeah. Because back then you had to really yeah. do it. You had to really you know, write a statement yeah. to take the stance. Yeah. All of the rats from the yeah. early two thousands, y'all niggas it. is y'all y'all the gangster as rats, cause y'all really had to you do really that had to shit. Get up there yeah. and really do that. Like. With that being said, um, I wanna take this time out real quick to apologize to uh my supporters, man. Nothing's normal as a community. We not a judgmental community. Um whatever Nothing's normal is really about live and let live. So whatever you got going on, if I'm not in compliance or in agreement with it, I have that right to just stay over here and right. not direct no energy your way. Um, the last, like, two weeks ago, you know, I probably disappointed. Not no probably. I definitely disappointed a lot of my supporters with uh, some of the activity that I indulged in online. So I just want to shout out to y'all and just let y'all know I don't regret it because um, 
you know, sometimes, sometimes you got to smack the fly that keep, that keep, that keep, you know, antagonizing you in a certain way. And there's a thin line. I don't even teach that to my students. I know I'm a boxing instructor. I'm not nonviolent. I'm not non-confrontational. I'm not a, a non-conflict person. I'm all about making it home. So however you have to do that sometimes, unfortunately in this world, you got to take the good with the bad. I think it say that in the Bible somewhere. But there might come a time where you got to get out of character. It happens. Accountability is the seed to growth. That's not something I plan on indulging in in the future. But, you know, it was something that, you know, I made my play. It was the move I made at the time. It was, I felt like it was the only thing I could do at that time for that specific individual. But now I'm back on my high horse, man. Um, you can't fuel me with 87. We, this thing take 93, baby. So, you know, I just wanted to stop it and, and let my viewers know now that they don't have they got me caught up this is this guy right here he will do that with you all live for seven summers and me here i ain't really there i'm not really that type of guy you know i really try not to get on that i throw my little subliminals in there but i'm really not trying to have full-fledged royal rumbles with you freak ass niggas online but you know back to killer cows man they hate you yeah man. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like, I might be. I might top be five hated top niggas five in a county. Hated in, a niggas county in a county. In a county. Top five. You know, I'm Facts. a student of history, so I've been living in Westchester. I'm born in West. I got like 20 plus in Westchester. A lot of niggas. That's why. Yeah, niggas hate you. That's why the ones that fuck with me, niggas, mm -hmm. bitches that are not, that genuinely fuck with me. It comes. The energy is so natural. I can tell. Like, nah, some fuck with me or shorty fuck with me. Cause the ones that don't, it's just they wait. Like, you just mm -hmm. energy is everything. With me. Energy you know is mean? everything, cause. Everything. Right. It's a way of life. It's a way of life. We got different experiences. The energies was going to be mutual. You know what I'm saying? A bad day for Kurt is he can't figure out what Chinese restaurant to go to. A bad day for me is I got to spend my whole check as soon as I get it. It's the same feeling, but it's just different. And one thing about you, I was just telling somebody this, man, like, Hearing about you versus speaking to you was too, you very articulate. You a nigga that know how to speak. You got a good vocabulary and break that. This is shit that I wouldn't know hearing about you. So it's yeah, important you know to go see. Yeah. A lot of people say that. Like, yeah. you got people that come to me like, yo, damn, my nigga, why these niggas be mad? <laughs> like, I, like, you good. I fuck with you, my nigga. I'm like, man, you know, I done slapped this nigga before. I done yeah. violated this nigga cousin or... And I only never did nothing. I wasn't, I'm not a bully. Yeah. I bully the bullies. If you acting like you're a bully, I want to see if you like that. Mm -hmm. But I'm not a nigga. I'm the same nigga all the time. So, like you said, when a nigga get around me or a chick get around me or a nigga, they're like, oh, nah, Kel, like, niggas really be hating I see now. Like, you yeah. ain't. Mm -hmm. I don't walk around like I'm the, nah, man. Yeah. But I stand on business. That's it. But like you said, it go back to, I'm a nigga. That's all I'm going to say that's willing to go where it need to go because I done put, I done, the shit I done been through for this shit, mm -hmm. I'm willing to go there, bro. And it's just like, even I don't, nobody wants to leave their kids, their family. That's why I don't put myself in situations to where, but when it's time to like put on and you force in my hand, mm -hmm. it, then when I go, people looking like, damn, well, he ain't have to do all that. Yeah. You can't tell me how to have to do all that. You can't tell me how to respond. Talk to this nigga yeah. while he was, kept antagonizing me. Yeah. Now yeah. he dead. Yeah. Now was oh, <laughs> Kel's this. He ain't have to do that. And what about him antagonizing me? You, I got <laughs> shit going on behind the scenes. Shout out to my moms. Mm -hmm. Ronnie, my moms, they doing too good. Yeah, yeah shout out I to my mom. I got Mama real life family issues going on. Mm -hmm. like, you feel me? So it ain't just about me. Like, yeah. So when niggas be playing and Kel and talking about me and trying to slander my name and acting like you really want to issue me, you really don't. And then when I address the issue and I really and, and get you out of here or, mm -hmm. or put on, mm -hmm. the people's looking like I did something wrong. Like, yeah, you know I mean? reputation. These niggas don't got no, 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 it's just like credit. If you don't got no credit, they say yeah, that's they bad. These niggas don't got no credit history. These niggas just pulling up. These niggas need co-signers. I shit right there, you can look. As far as not necessarily rap sheets, I mean like stat sheets. Like, you know, we know what so players sorry. is doing what. We know the LeBrons from the KDs to the Stephens versus the niggas who 
drop 30 here and there versus the niggas who was on some shit, sitting on some shit that looked like this, that sound like this. So it's like, you know, we know what was going on, but like you said, opportunity, it'd be a lot of shit. But for niggas like us, the best thing we could do is, like I said, uh, hang our jersey up, get to this money, and get the fuck going, because that's all you could do. Because as long as we right here, it's going to happen, because you only as good as your last game in the streets. That's the problem. So I just asked the people. It's fucked up. Like I said, I'm chilling. My jersey's dead. I just want the people, like. Shit funny, but it ain't even funny. It's annoying. Like, I know. fair, people. A nigga antagonizing niggas, and niggas is acting like they like that. When a nigga tear him up or put on a deuce do him dirty, whatever the case may be, I'm just speaking in general. Don't put it on me off my reputation. Look into, like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Don't, oh, Kelly, he ain't have to do that. Or the, I'm chilling. Yeah. They ain't knowing that. They trying to get money, take care of my kids, my family, get up out of here. Mm -hmm. You got a niggas that's just coming out or just trying to get a name up or don't do that with me. Go do that shit with somebody else. You don't know what they doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 I don't want no problems. I don't yeah. want no problems, y'all. <laughs> Respectfully. You hear me saying I don't want no yeah. problems. Mm -hmm. If you say, oh, he copping it on. If, nah. you say I'm copying, if you think I'm copping it, I'm copying it. I don't want yeah. no problems, though. Yeah. Respectfully. Yeah. Cause I know how I'm coming, bro. Yeah. And I don't want to. I be scared of myself sometimes. I don't be like, yeah. cause I know when I black, when I go, nigga, to tell you, when I black, I got a warrant the next day. Yeah. Kale's gingerbread. Yeah. This is a fact. Yeah. Whenever I decide to go in, go in. <laughs> bro, we need you here, yeah, cause like, you I, feel we, me? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you like I tell everybody else, man. Cause I'm in a different space in my life, man. I uh. I'm trying to be though, because I, like I just told Shorty, I, I still gotta be right here. So as much, Tone Trump said it the best when we did the interview right next door. Shout out to Ali and the Goat Lab. We did the, did the interview over there. But I'm in Africa. You think I give a fuck what a nigga's saying about me that's in Philly versus when I'm in Philly? So when I'm in the town, I gotta go to the gas station. I gotta go, my, my kids go to all of the Greenberg schools. I gotta go to the grocery store. I got to go to my car. I got to be in these areas. I'll be damned if I'm in these areas letting people play in my face, right. man. So when I get to the point where I could go on tour and move around here to there, then I might start letting y'all, you know, say y'all shit in peace. But for right now, I got to look y'all in y'all eyes at the register. Ain't no way in the world. So right. we got to get the fuck going, man. This will, this like will, right this now, will we do. Like, I salute what you're doing, too, baby. Yeah, bro. for sure. The kids, you know, I'm going to find my bring my son up yeah. there and get him right with the box tonight. Niggas is trying to do things in life, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Y'all niggas that's just trying to do that shit, play with the mother niggas, homie. Like, yeah. don't bark up the wrong tree, my nigga. Then, like, when a nigga bite, it's... You know what? It's a good way to look at it too. Would it help me rest easy at night with it? I remember it depends. If you really want to know, it's just goofy because a lot of these niggas is closer to our age. So if you, it's different for the young niggas. You jumping off the porch, twenty five and a half. It's like, dang, I can't. It's hard for me to take that. Everybody mm -hmm. got their own time. I can't take a nigga thirty years old trying to make up for all the years he was he was a he was a nut. Like I can't I can't deal with that. But when a nigga come outside, you got to look at it like this. If a nigga play ball and love ball, you get a nigga like LeBron James on a, on a Dykeman court, this nigga's from the hood that's trying to, that's, that's, they first time on Dykeman, they trying to get LeBron 40 because of who LeBron is. So the fact that niggas uh, give you all of that energy because they know or they heard is like, that's Kev's. I, we trophies, nigga. Nigga, nigga, right. nigga, nigga cremate us, nigga. A nigga going to wear that. Like a badge of honor, you you did that, nigga. You, <laughs> that's a triple right there. You get one, nigga. So you gotta look at it like that too, bro. We are trophies, gang. So we gotta really, we gotta we gotta pass through the breeze on these niggas because these niggas can't wait to attach us to they self to us, even if it's through conflict. Like you said, I'm beefing with such and such. That make that'll make it that'll get a nigga some pussy. A nigga, tell I a bitch. I know for <laughs> a fact, niggas is getting pussy off of front and like. They beefing with me or they got smoke with me yeah. or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Just cause, like who I am as a person, like. Mm -hmm. And bitches too, cause one thing I learned I learned about a bitch, a woman, excuse me, 
women, I have five different niggas on five different levels all at the same table because they all deal with the same with the same mm. bro. So you, I blame them a little bit too because they be having niggas that uh, it intertwined that don't got no business knowing each other's name. That, and a, a lot of them be official though. A lot of them be- The bitches? Yeah, a lot of bitches. I'm just calling y'all, but you know the vibe. Excuse a me. Of, I, a lot of y'all, a lot of the bitches- I love like, mine, by the way. It be a lot too weird like, you know this nigga doing bad. Like, you know, like, you know you sleep with this nigga. It's they fault. <laughs> you feel me? Like, That's the only like, cure through the like, women. If the women, <laughs> if a woman pulled the nigga out on some G shit, ladies, try to, I, I be trying to tell y'all to do shit, but I, I feel like niggas is knocking the women out behind certain shit. Niggas are knocking a bitch out for some shit like this, but stop pulling the nigga up. Like, damn, get off that nigga dick. We still talking about something? The fuck you doing? If a woman assassinate a nigga character like that in the middle of him doing some fuck shit, it'll make a nigga tuck his yeah, tail. It might get you knocked out too, though. That homies, you might get parked. But for the niggas that's anti, you know, doing that, you might, you might, you might save a life, you might man. Save him. You that's might save fact. him. Tell that nigga to <laughs> chill, slow down. You sound like a hater. A Are fact. you coming over here for me or you coming over there for him? Because if you're looking for him, he in the street somewhere. So it's like ah. I blame y'all too. Y'all gotta do better, man. Stop laying down with these goofy ass niggas, saying niggas' names. And for the niggas, man, this is what women are supposed to do. The women is gonna be scorned and mad and hurt and all kind of other shit. They gonna pop their shit about us. Y'all supposed to stay in y'all fucking lane and mind y'all business and figure out how y'all gonna f fuck her life up more. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. Uh what you got going on, man? I, I see the gram lit, man. You got the the the, the you tell the spot, man. I see you promoting. Yeah, Shout out to Ag, right man. Right now, I'm about to get on There's another spot, new bro. I don't know if it's solidified yet. I'll let y'all know in the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. Trying to get this spot every Saturday and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, trying yeah. to chill, my nigga. I've been I've been through it all, my nigga. Yeah, you've been through a lot. Nigga can't tell me like they can't take nothing from me. I die today. I'm content. Like you feel me? Like yeah. I mean, all my kids go. They can't take nothing from me. It's gonna be a lot of chit chat. God forbid my number get called. Oh, cows this, cows that. But oh, you know ain't it. Do nothing to me. You, you know I was here. That's respectfully. Yeah. Niggas ain't. You got. Know yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So you got to win every game, cause that's that's also too. If you ain't never lose a game, who you playing yeah, against? Like, who yeah, you playing not, against if yeah. you going undefeated? I don't yeah. give a fuck. Who just won the Super Bowl? The Chiefs. The niggas ain't going undefeated. They lost. The, did they lose? I don't watch football. Now the Chiefs won that. I know, but did they go undefeated though? Nah, they ain't. They ain't go undefeated. They lost a game or two or three. It's going to happen. That come with the territory. With don't fact. let none of that shit deter you. The That's niggas. That's why you know. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I done had incident. Um, like we street niggas on me. Like, is anything that happened with me? Like, we shut shake when the nigga get the best of me. Anything. The goofy niggas is so they happy. Can't wait, they can't wait. <laughs> like, yes, like, oh, he, he did got, it. <laughs> he lost the fight, or he got beat up, and da, 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 yeah, like, yeah. nigga, that shit come with the territory. Nigga, I be going to jail since nine days. You think I ain't lose fights, nigga? Mm -hmm. You think I ain't win fights, nigga? Yeah, me and Ice talk about that all the bro, time. That shit ain't about nothing, bro. Like, yeah. If that's all I did, of, like y'all niggas got a lot of like. Y'all not street niggas. <laughs> get fly. I, get fly. Keep Shout out to everybody, man. Up. Keep wearing your Marys. <laughs> Keep doing all that. And get fly. Leave me alone. Just yeah. don't put a fucking Mary on. I put a Nike check on and bag the same type of bitch yeah. you go bag. You feel me? Listen. Like, y'all do y'all thing, man. Um, like I said, I, it's love. For me, all over, I try to, I, I, I keep it, you know, low like a credit score. <laughs> my man Kurt gonna help me, you know, boost it, get my life together, man. But um, anything you want to tell the people, man? Word from Killer Kells, man. Tell the people something. Tell the youth something, man. Tell the youth on, on, on how to make it to see them ages and how to skip some of them steps. Or tell them whatever you want to tell them, man. Man, bro, this shit. Got to touch on that. This drill music, yeah, that shit fucked the game up, baby. Yeah, social media though. Yeah, that's the fall over. Fall on the social media, fall on all that, like. Yeah, that shit fucks the game up. I asked five of the little niggas in the hood the other day. I said, "Yo, I get y'all twenty dollars right now, peace." 
Name one R and B song. One R and B track. Homie. Them niggas can name one R and B song. That go to show you the temperament of the women, <laughs> of the girls too. <laughs> Bitches is fucking their B love. Smoke on the eye, rip the drop. You blowing hat. You making love to to to, to drill. <laughs> yeah, oh God, they only got a playlist. <laughs> These niggas just clip it. Ah, y'all just wailing. Yeah, that's tough. That's that go to show you how fuck. Ain't no more soul in the streets, and it, that's that's dangerous. That's why there's no soul out here. There's no conscious thinking. These drugs is crazy. You gotta think, and, and you the perfect nigga actually to touch on that with the pills and all that. You remember, cause woo, yeah, yeah, yeah. the pills had a nigga. I'm one of them niggas like I could go to an AA meeting, my nigga on the low, <laughs> no cap, and give a testimony. Like I wasn't selling my, I wasn't doing some of this, I wasn't doing crackhead behavior, but I was it on, was I was, I was on that type of time back in our day. That shit was a sin, nigga. We ain't even start. We was athletes, so yeah, niggas I remember I took my first hit of blood, up. my first hit of blood, and niggas, my circle was looking at me like, the fuck is Spanks doing? Like so. Them drugs, everything is just all bad right now in the streets. It's all bad. Nice. It's all bad. Just yeah. All this shit just made. Yeah. Final shit thought. Shit changed so much, my nigga. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I go with the towns, but like, shit changed so much, my nigga. But me, rest in peace, face realist, rest in peace, C2. Mm-hmm. Um, niggas running around, my nigga. It was different, my nigga. Yeah. Everything was different, my nigga. Mm-hmm. The niggas that you hear about now, you hear about them because social media. Like I said, my nigga, you can smoke a blunt, think of some tough shit to say, and then type it online. Mm-hmm. So what mm-hmm. Dizzy bro, she go double tap it because she's like, oh, this nigga's official. He just told us some tough shit to say. She's not willing to look past checking anything yeah. further than that. You as know? long as he getting a couple dollars, nigga don't get a bitch, don't get no fuck. They don't care. Give a fuck for what? You gonna do whatever I say? You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't even giving women no no resistance. It shit. A lot of niggas be like, um, yeah, yeah. Niggas sound like they got you hot, man. They, I did. Cool cows, y'all done pissed off cool cows, man. But um, like I said, I'm most hated, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like. Yeah. That's why I fuck with the niggas that fuck with me. Mm-hmm. I'm going on, going for them. Cause it's yeah. like, I know, like, so yeah. I'm my young, you think it's my Ville nigga. Mm-hmm. White plays, green bros, you know, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. A lot of people can't do that. Y'all call it Mixy. A lot of y'all can't. It's called can't resource. Life is all about resource. Yeah. I got kids. I believe in the passion game. Yeah. Like, I Hell come yeah. Like, Respect. This is, that's not a copy. Nah. Copy Mm-mm. You gotta patch in, my nigga. With the with the with the people who's who's yeah, really who the real fact. ones, the ones <laughs> you gotta tap in with the that's ones. I come to your crib, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? It's called respect. It's not checking in nothing. I'm just like, all right, I need to know what to do and yeah, what not to do while I'm in your, while I'm on your land. You know I'm saying, or the, or the block, y'all niggas just tore this shit up and hot. Yeah, you guys just gotta check in, like, mm-hmm. that's it. ain't nothing wrong with that. A lot of y'all niggas can't do that because niggas just don't. Don't let people, it's resource, man. These would be the same niggas when they want to find something out, they calling you to, to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know what I'm saying? So, man, final words, man. What, what you got going on? What's your plans, man, for 2024, man? What, what's Killer Kale trying to get done, man? My nigga, I ain't a front. By the end of the summer, my nigga, I'm trying to be down south somewhere in the house, white picket fence. Mm-hmm. A couple dogs running around. Mm-hmm. Barbecue. Yeah, barbecue yeah, in the backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Projector coming out the backyard and screen all that. Mm-hmm. New York is over for me, my nigga. Yeah, it's over. Shit over. Burnt man. out? Yeah, shit burnt out. What's the... What's the, uh, the, the Statue of Liberty, the torch? Then? Yeah, this shit is over, bro. Yeah. Before we slide out of here, man, how's Squeak doing, man? Is Squeak somebody you in contact with still? Yeah, Boy been gone since 05. Oh, I was 16. 18, damn, free bang with Squeak, man. Mm-hmm. How's yeah, the spirits? Nah, his spirits is all the way up. He walked that shit down. My son about to come home. Mm-hmm. And, um, get money too, man. What's up yeah, with get money? Get money? Free get money. That's my free boy. Free get money. Get money be on his way soon too. Mm-hmm. Everybody touch. Like the next two, three years, yeah. everybody touch him. Yeah. Squeak Boy 18, damn, that's my son. That's my baby boy, man. It's Christ. And um, 
Yeah. You know, when he come home, it's going to shift the now. Yeah. I yeah. don't know if it's going to shift it in a good way or a bad way, but like I said, a lot of niggas wasn't around. A lot of niggas wasn't outside. You had a little dumb niggas trying to act, trying to get a name up. Mm-hmm. This and that. So it's just going to be like, my son, he know how to move, though. Yeah. We on deck. Ain't shit changed. Niggas getting older, but we still on deck, nigga. So it's like, <laughs> don't play yourself, yo. I'm the good one, man. I'm chilling. <laughs> I coach boxing. Like, I work, yeah. you know. I'm cooling, man. Don't bother me. Don't yeah, try son, me. Just man. leave niggas alone, yeah, bro. That, don't try that's me, all bro. niggas got to do. Like, niggas don't be, I don't wake up and I don't think about niggas, though. I don't like, be. <sighs> We did this already, though, Kyle. That's what I'm saying. That, that's what I'm saying. We, we did it already. 15, I'm active. As soon as I touch the turp, what we doing? This is this, 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 this. I say it all the time. Bro, Ice gave me the map. I took it and I explored that motherfucker. And I, shit, it was that. You know, I was me from there. So, yeah. And we going to do... We going to do another part two to this part one. We going to do a part two. It was more to talk man. about. Yeah, we be here for we be here for two th- for three days straight. <laughs> yeah, to get this yeah, this man's story is crazy. That's a fact. But um, I love your soul, cause like I said, we gonna get him back on man. here. We really about to go on this nine one four run, man. I think you know they're gonna start seeing a lot of uh, cause like I said, my legends list is different. I come from a different background, so I I, I looked up to different things. Whether it was good, bad, smart, stupid, I don't give a fuck. Um. That's what I want to do. So I think we about to beat this county up, and I'm one of the niggas that could do that. So, you know. Yeah, man. Killer calves. Nothing's normal. Free biz, man. Free stitch. Oh, free biz. Cowboy free stink. stitch. Free stink. Oh, man, free free guys, showtime. Man, free, show. free motherfucking BK. BK. Free woo. Free, free war. Name. Free the rain. Yeah. I don't even know these names, man. These these is names. These is them niggas, they'd be bro. like, who? That's another <laughs> thing. Whoa, 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 hold on. Before we slide out of here, too, because that's another thing. Look, man. To 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 the people we crown, a lot of the people what, what people be getting misconstrued is I love all my niggas that's locked up. I love y'all. I I, I don't take nothing away from y'all. Um y'all, y'all, y'all made y'all names. You know, y'all created situations that, you know, niggas, 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 mm, niggas is a part of and, and things of that nature. I blame you niggas too. And I really, bl- it's, it's a lot of resource because them niggas up there that be in jail will crown a fucking bunny rabbit if he turn the phone on. So a lot of y'all niggas be thinking yeah. y'all somebody's in situations when it's really like, y'all like, Y'all like, yeah, y'all, y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all, yeah, y'all, y'all, come on, man. Like, a lot of y'all niggas just got y'all phone on. A lot of y'all niggas are just be in contact yeah, right. with niggas. And then y'all are dick ride niggas that's up there. Yeah, and then niggas right. are want to overly sanction y'all niggas based upon what you could do. You expendable. Right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas not really even really fucking with you. A nigga only fuck with you based upon what you could do for them. So a lot of niggas, y'all get that false sense of security Cause it, cause y'all y'all send a nigga I care yeah. or J pay or some shit like that. That don't got nothing to do with your character. And so to the big fools that's up there, y'all really need to examine yeah, these that. niggas, that's man. Y'all don't know these niggas just cause the nigga got his phone that's on fact. and reached out don't mean he's solid. So he out here making calls and he not even qualified to to, to nigga. You better call nine one one. The only thing these niggas is liable yeah. to call out here. So it's like. Know y'all personnel, big fools. We love y'all. See, a lot of y'all niggas is coming home, jumping on this YouTube wave. And I, I love the stories. I grew up to it. But stop crowning these bozos because you could call a phone and they accept and collect calls. That's one part of support. You know what I'm saying? These right. niggas' characters don't be right. I love y'all, man. I love you, Kyle. You know that, Kyle. Yo. 